Hello, my name is Kathleen and I will explain the second Mendelian law. For this, you need to know the first Mendelian law, which I already explained in this movie. To sum it up, the first Mendelian law is about what happens if you cross two homozygous plants with each other. In this case, we cross the purple Mirabilis plants with the white Mirabilis plants. And their children all look the same. So here we had the pink Mirabilis plants. And this was because they had the information for purple and for white, but what you saw was a mixture of both the pink color. There was a difference with the ice begonia plants. So here, if I cross the white plants with the red plants, all of their children are red. And this was because of the dominant effect of the information for red color. And this was called a dominant recessive inheritance. The second Mendelian law is about what happens if you cross those children with each other. All of those plants look the same. And if you cross them with each other, suddenly you get different plants again. So you have plants looking purple and white, like their grandparents, and plants which are pink, like their parents are. And also on the genetic basis, this is different. So these plants are homozygous for purple, and those are homozygous for white. The pink plants have the information for purple and white again, and therefore they look pink. And this is not a coincidence, so you always have a ratio of one to two to one. And this is what the second Mendelian law is about. It's called the segregation rule, because the traits segregate in the ratio of one to two to one. But again, there's a difference with the ice begonia plants. If we cross those red children, which are all looking the same with each other, suddenly we get white plants again. And this is because here it's the same as before. You have plants showing the traits of their grandparents, like homozygous white and homozygous red. But you also have plants which have the information for white and red, but because of the dominant effect of red, they are red again. So what you have on the genetic basis is a ratio of one to two to one again, but what you see here is a ratio of three to one. <laughs>